good buddy. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm really excited today. We're gonna to be starting a new video series on the channel. It's gonna be called Gringo Grubs, and this is episode numero uno. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little background of what's going on, and then we're gonna hop on this bike and get going to a very delicious restaurant. All right, we are strapped up with the GoPro. Give you guys a quick look at the ride for today, which you know I had to start this series off with none other than my favorite bike in the collection, my 2003 CR250 Supermoto. This bike taught me almost everything I know about working on bikes. It was the first bike I learned how to rebuild completely. So she's my baby and I love riding her. So this bike might look super fresh to some of you who are new, but it's actually got about 30 to 35 hours on it, about 1,500 kilometers, and it's starting to get a little beat up. It's, it's shaking itself apart, so mainly I gotta fix this pipe. I heard it yesterday rattling, and what's going on is these rubber seals have gone bad here. And also, you won't be able to see it, but my rear brake caliper needs a rebuild. The seal is coming undone, and brake's a little bit sloppy, but... It's working for now. Anyways, let's jump on this beast and get going to one of my favorite places to eat here. When I came to Mexico, I fell in love with this place and boy, do I still enjoy going and eating there. Also, did a quick rejet on the bike today with the Electron. It took me literally five minutes and she should be running real nice now. It was a little bit rich. Yep, if I uh, ride this bike frequently, she's a one kickstarter every time. GoPro number two. Yeah, buddy. Check it out. We got two GoPros today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Trying to do this moto vlogging officially. in Gringo Grubs, we are gonna be having fun. Let me start off by saying I got this idea from Brian636. Shout out to you if you ever watch this video. He does this thing called Hood Eats where he rides his bikes, just different bikes he has, to the best places to eat in uh, the hood, basically, in Chicago. So I got inspiration from that and I'm living down here in Mexico. As a gringo, I'm from Virginia, therefore the gringo. And we're gonna be going to the best places to grub out here. My favorite places to eat. Hopefully you guys can give me some recommendations too. Woo! I was planning this back in September actually, so I'm so excited. It's been a long time I've wanted to do these videos. Oh man, it's a perfect day out. I'm loving this weather. It was so cold like a week and a half ago. We had fucking snow here. Unbelievable. 
back to that good weather now. In this episode, I figured I might as well talk about how the fuck I ended up down here in Mexico, living here, doing what I do. So we'll get to that in a little bit. God, I just get so distracted on this bike. <laughs> it's gonna be hard for me to talk. Alright, well this place is not that far from here actually, so let's jump straight into story time with Mike. So, about six years ago I believe, I went on a vacation the summer before my last year of college down to Cabo San Lucas. God, I love that place. And I ended up meeting my wife at the resort. Well, my wife as of today on that trip. So we hit it off, yada yada. She's like nine years older than me, so I was thinking it was the coolest thing in the world at the time as a 21 year old young buck. I guess I was 22 at the time. Yeah, it was pretty crazy and she lived in Mexico. She's from Monterrey and I was doing a long distance relationship for a little bit and then she ended up moving to college with me and we stayed living in Virginia for almost two years until we ended up moving down here. I came down here to visit a couple times. I fell in love with the city, Monterey. It's so beautiful. I've always been super passionate about the bikes, motorcycles in general, but specifically dirt bikes. And now these super motos, they definitely get me cranked up. But I originally thought I was gonna come down here and open a motocross track because all I knew at the time was motocross. I never knew riding on the street or any of the supermoto stuff up until recently. But after I came down here, I realized that it was going to cost way too much money for me to try to open a motocross track down here. And there's really not a lot of money to be made in it. Somewhat true for the states as well. That didn't work out and at the same time, I had been making some YouTube videos of my friends and myself riding at the local tracks back in Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland before coming here. That's where Full Throttle Films was created. So I came down to Mexico and you know, I knew it was gonna be probably interesting to start making videos of what I'm doing every day down here living in Mexico. So I got a new bike. I, I bought this bike shortly after. I, I decided let's make a supermoto. I taught myself how to work on the bike, rebuild it, all that stuff myself. So it's been amazing and a hell of a journey over the last three plus years that I've been making these videos. Woo! Oh man, and we are here already. Told you it was going to come up fast. That's our spot right there. Tortoise Alex, baby. I promise we'll have a little more fun, do a little more riding on the way home. I've been working out like every day this week, man. I'm so hungry. Tortas Alex, man. You guys are about to learn today how delicious this motherfucking place is. I'll tell you what. You know I'm taking that prime parking. Got to be able to look at this baby. Whoo, man, that was fun. Let's get inside and I will show all of you what my favorite thing is to get here. My favorite torta in all of Monterrey. And it's somewhat healthy too. Can you believe that? Also, to anyone interested, this is how I lock my bike up. So I can put a link to this if anyone's interested. Since these supermotos don't have keys or nothing, I mean, you can steal them so easily. But basically, you loop this in here, put it through your rotor, and then you can connect it up here just to kind of display more or less that your bike's locked up. Yeah, buddy, let's go get it. 
All right, you guys ready to see this? Check it out. We got the torta de pavo. It's a turkey torta, and oh my god. So I get this seen mayonnaise without mayonnaise, and we're gonna put some cream on it and some of this spicy salsa that they have here. Fire. Oh yeah, also Lily's here. Say hi to Lily. <laughs> she couldn't pass up on some torta salads today. A little bit of salt, just because we're low in sodium. Ooh, damn. Don't be afraid. It's very spicy actually. Yeah. Super spicy. Mm -hmm. Lettuce and tomato in there too. But their fries are so freaking good. Okay, we're gonna talk about why <clears throat> this is my favorite torta, all right? Really, I think it's the bread. They have like the best torta bread here. And their salsa too. This right here makes the freaking... Crema. Yeah. Everything. I guess this is special crema too. Yeah, but. This, definitely. Oh, this. <laughs> Everything here. Any place I'm going to take you on Gringo Grubs, you can trust, is going to be fire. And I wouldn't recommend it if it wasn't. Because you married a chef and a foodie. Because I married a chef and a foodie and a Mexican. Yeah. You're probably just gonna have to come and try it for yourself. All right, that was delicious, man. If I'm gonna rate this place, I'm giving it a nine out of ten for their uh, torta de pavo, their turkey sub. But let's get on with it. officially loving Gringo Grubs. I'm having so much fun. Getting another chance to get out on the bike and ride and get some good food while I'm at it, man. This is gonna be awesome. If this bike doesn't excite you, something's wrong. Damn, I can hear my pipe rattling super bad right now. It is what it is. Man, I wish this bike had a six gear. We're about to have some more fun, but before I do that, then recommendaciones a, a lugares ricos. I want to know, give me some recommendations here in Monterrey that I can go to, and I'll review the food too. I'll let you guys know how it is. How about that? <laughs> get a lot more comfortable on this bike. Woo! Tell 
Tell me you don't just love the sound of a two-stroke. if we can't get a little rolling Bernie. Struggle, we'll work on that too. guys so some other cool things we can do is you guys can vote on what bike I'm riding You know we got the YZ450 Supermoto, the CRF450R, this beautiful white baby, and hell, I might even ride the uh, little KLX one time for a video. Tell me I won't. <laughs> I tell you, this two-stroke is super hard to move side to side, and on the supermoto wheels too, but the 450 definitely goes a little more where you want it to. Oh, it's our buddies again. But yeah, we're uh, coming up on home here, so... The last few wheelies. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be trying to do these Gringo Grubs once a month. Going to a new place, getting out on a bike. It's going to be sick, man. I'm really excited. I had so much fun on this bike today. I love it! It's my favorite bike! And I'll never sell it! I love every single one of you. We're almost at 55,000. So crazy to me. I'm trying to work on my first gear slow wheelies. Don't worry, I will be giving this baby some love. Needs a few things. Gonna get it dialed in again. And I'm gonna go drink a beer. Gringo Grubs, signing out.